And we begin by querying up the courts. Texas Supreme Court hears case of judge who refuses to marry same-sex couples. Texas Supreme Court justices question whether a Waco Justice of the Peace should remain under threat of a judicial oversight body sanctions if she re continues refusing to marry gay couples. The State Commission on Judicial Conduct gave Judge Diane Hensley a public warning in 2019 for performing opposite sex weddings, but declining to perform same sex wedding ceremonies on religious grounds. A move raises doubts about her capacity to act impartially. Her ref refusal occurred in the wake of the landmark U.S. Supreme Court ruling requiring all states to recognize and license marriage equality. Hensley serves as a Justice of the Peace in McLennan County, an elected position whose role includes hearing traffic and misdemeanor cases, presiding over landlord and tenant disputes, and conducting weddings. Following the 2019 warning, Henley Hensley filed a lawsuit alleging the Judicial Commission violated her rights under the Texas Religious Freedom Restoration Act. The 1999 law is designed to ensure the government cannot substantially burden the, religious, the free exercise of religious beliefs. The case is believed to be among several similar cases attempting to expand the reach of a Supreme Court ruling allowing a Colorado web designer to refuse to make websites for same-sex couples' weddings. Oh, stories like this make me so mad. Your religious freedom ends when you go into the public square as a public servant. Mm -hmm. You are, the Hard Rock used to have a saying, love all, serve all. You don't gotta love us, but you gotta serve us. Absolutely. It's called marriage equality. Mm -hmm. We are equal to you. Well, Waco and Wacko, I mean, depending on how you do it, <laughs> right out of that, out of there, because they've had so many wonderful things come out of Waco. Um, the best part is that she wants damages in this lawsuit. Yes. Yeah. Because she, and she hasn't officiated in years. Yeah. Well, I judge her as an idiot. And the issue of partiality <laughs> and Supreme Court justices seems to be reaching crisis level. It's like, is it, does it even exist? And whether it's in the Lone Star State or the highest court in the land. That this is troubling, no matter where it's occurring. Absolutely. One would think if you spend all day looking to listen to landlord tenant violations and speeding <laughs> ticket disgruntled people, you would think like having a gay wedding would be a break in the day. You'd have a lot more fun with it. I mean, if you did that, maybe you'd be a little happier and you would take better pictures. <laughs> well, I hope nothing really uh, big comes out of, um, of her case because that would be really dangerous, very dangerous for us. It's already pretty tenuous with the way things are, and especially here in Florida. And we don't want people doing crazy things over there and bringing them over here because we already got the crazy over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. In spades. Yeah. yeah. Remember the, the last time we had someone refuse um, service? We had a story here about the... The chick in the, Kentucky? The, the one that had the bakery, didn't want to bake cakes. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah. 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 And there was no oh, actual right. same-sex couple that actually tried oh, the to. Website. It was the all website. The website designer. Yeah. No, the no it, was, it, was, it was the baker. It was oh, female. Oh, really? So yeah. there wasn't actually there a There wasn't an actual couple. She just thought, I think this is going to be offensive. And she took it all the way to the Supreme Court. Wow. Like, dear God. And she won. She was not she even, won. she was literally had no damages. You know. Literally had huh. no damages whatsoever. Mm. Poor thing. But her fragile ego must be so validated right now. Oh. She's never had an orgasm.